Jessica. Proposed changes coming to I-35 have a lot of you talking, and it is also raising concerns about costs and big traffic delays when crews start building the road. Ripping up Austin's busiest highway to add toll lanes and underground lanes will not be easy, but officials say other cities are doing it, and it's working. KXA's Alicia ends here live to show us how. Yeah, that's right. And uh, the vision here for I-35 that's going on right now is actually being planned, is something that you already see too often. One of the models, though, includes what they've just built in Dallas. The LBJ Texpress Lanes project, that is between I-35E and US-75. You can see the toll lanes that are kind of sunken below here. And then above is the cantilever system where the highway and the frontage road meet on the higher ground. Along I-35 for part of it, the toll lanes will be raised on their own road, and the highway is there in the middle. But part of I-35 here could be even bigger, like in an infamous Boston project that revamped that city. And true to its name, the Big Dig, it has its pros and cons. The, the city of Boston has been forever transformed. It's nearly 2,000 miles away, but lessons learned in Boston's Big Dig may hit closer to home than we think. The, the city was totally disrupted. Dan McNichol was the spokesperson for the project for seven years and wrote a book about all the ups and downs. The people lived with a lot of traffic changes, a lot of disruption, a lot of mud, dust, and it was never ending, it seemed. The Big Dig tore up Boston's roads, moving loud, ugly highways underground. Construction costs climbed $11 billion over budget, spanning three decades and six presidents. At one point, it even turned deadly when concrete slabs fell from a tunnel onto a woman driving below. McNichol sees why Austin drivers may look at this and get concerned for what the city here is about to take on. But the payoff, he says, will be life-changing. This is going to be what makes Austin, for the next, no lie, 50 to 100 years, an even better city. McNichol says the changes in Boston opened up a 1,000 acres of new property for development along the highway, and traffic flows much smoother. So maybe decades from now, when the I-35 headaches are gone, the ride will have been worth it. It's going to be bumpy and messy at times, but... It's the kind of thing that brings attention to a great city. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. Austin officials expect the I-35 project to cost roughly $8 billion with a projected start date on construction in 2021. Cost and the ability of the contractor will be something officials will monitor. It became an issue in the Mopac Express Lane project. KXAN investigators showed you last November how CH2M bid more than $136 million for this work. It was nearly $35 million below original engineers' estimates. It was also more than $60 million below the next lowest bidder. But a number of delays, including weather and supply issues, delayed everything. The company was fined, and the contract was reworked. It was originally supposed to be finished by the fall of 2015, and parts work is still going on even tonight. And with the 183 South project, that project is affecting businesses there. Over the summer, people told us the traffic caused a drop in customers for some businesses. The whole thing cost more than $740 million, with the first phase set to open in 2019. 